Hi everybody! Welcome in to a very special Fallout 76 bonus stream. We're going to be playing together and having a good time. Welcome into Labyrinth, Wolf's Den, Snipey, Super Heartness. Hope you're doing well. Right before I started, Wolf's Den asked, what is this special event that everybody's talking about? I think that what you might be referring to is the April Fool's event. See, we have the news here, Fallout 76 news. You'd be a fool to think we're not celebrating such an occasion. Check back each day from March 28th to April 1st to see what shenanigans await you. So what I would... So today it's Foshnot. It looks like maybe they're going to give us a different uh, annual event each day for a few days for April Fool's. Um, and Foshnot is the one that has all the balloons. That's something that happens... What, what time of year does that happen, everybody? It just happened. But... Like, it is a cert it's a week during the year, and it just happened. Like, I want to say it's at the end of the year. Hi, Big J! Welcome! Great to see you! Everybody go sub to Big J if you haven't already. They're another awesome YouTube creator. What you been playing lately, Big J? Joshua Reese! Super Heartness! I'm so happy you made it in! How are you? So let's see, I'll try to catch up with I'm the Mayor. Yeah, this is a pretty exciting thing that they've decided to do for April Fools. I really like it. Having one day versions of the events. And to be honest, like I was playing earlier and I didn't read the news alert and I was like, why is a Fosh not happening? This is so weird, but I went to it anyway. And I was just like, this is a bug, right? This is a... So I guess it worked. It was an April Fool's joke that worked because I thought that it was a glitch in the system. I was like, dude, somebody forgot to take Foshnot code out because, like, it literally just ended not too long ago. <laughs> it worked! The April Fool's joke worked. Hi, Cory. It's so good to see you. How are you? Big J says that he's been playing Fortnite. Wolfston says my gaming group calls it Fortnite. Fork knife. That's awesome. So let's see who, if I can group up with Calling all responders. Sanjay here, letting you know that Steelheart is fully charged and ready for action. If you're in Morgantown, go ahead and activate him so we can check the alarms on the stash rooms. Just Anybody make else sure who wants to play with us? Damage. I've got I think the I voice is too loud. Anybody else who wants to play with us, we have two more spots. Just let me know, or just jump in once I make it public. But definitely let me know if you're in chat. That way I don't move away from you in the group. Alright. Corey says, I'm marvelous, you. I'm doing really good. I'm so happy you can make it to a stream today. I hope that everything's been going well. It's nice to hear that you're, that you're marvelous. I've been having a lot of fun playing tons of Fallout 76 since the new season dropped. I've probably been playing too much, honestly, but it's okay. It's good. I won't have as much time to play it in the coming days as I have this, like, today and yesterday, so... It's good that I'm getting the playtime in while I can. I'm also super excited because I just started participating in the Permadeath Project that um, another Fallout 76 streamer on Twitch, and I think he's got a YouTube channel too, um, Comrade Vanya made like a permadeath server and has invited everyone to come play on it, and there's a leaderboard. And I'm going to be hosting sessions soon and probably streaming some content of that as well. So I've been really excited about that and playing a little bit of extra on top of like the new season content to be able to like try to establish myself on the leaderboard. And it's been pretty cool. Definitely having a great time with that because anybody who's been around a while knows that I love the challenge runs. They're my favorite. And this one's pretty, pretty challenging for sure so it's been cool big j says that's awesome yeah it's been really cool it's it's really cool especially to like because it's kind of competitive like it's something i like to do anyway but it's competitive and so 
I'm officially a competitive Fallout 76 player, you guys. Which is kind of funny, but no, for real! <laughs> Alright, let's see. What should I do first? Oh, it looks like the event I wanted to do just ended. Do I have any other friends? Steven Martin wants to come. Invite to team! Whoa, float away! Float away! Crash. I think I have to actually drop some stuff. Which means I might have to walk out of town. I might not be able to drop stuff from within town. Big J says, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. Snipey says, I just got done from watching Saya. Yay! I heart Saya. I'm excited to play V Rising with Saya soon. V Rising comes out in a little more than a month. It's like five or six weeks from now. They're doing their 1.0 release. I bet Simophy's gonna play that. Aw, what does that mean, Simophy? Why would you get such an idea in your head? I love you. How hard was it to find that jetpack blueprint? So the one that I'm using in this armor, I actually had to earn with gold bullions, which is a currency that you open up at the end of the Settlers versus Raiders questline. And you can get a jetpack before that though by, by using a plan. There's multiple that are pretty accessible. If you're on PC, I can probably give you a plan if I have it in my inventory. Corey says, I would love to grind the scoreboard. Work needs me more. Aww. Well, I hope that you get time to play when you can. But yeah, work's really important. And I'm happy that you have your priorities straight. Ninja Drew 69 thank you for liking the stream, you rock. How you doing today, Simothy? I need to f get out of town so I can get my stuff reorganized. Corey says, oops, season board. I know, right? Nah, it's okay. I'm sure it's a mistake we'll all be making for a while. The new season pass system. I actually like it. At first I wasn't sure what I was going to think of it, but all of my anxiety about it has washed away and now I do think it's actually a superior system. So, that's good. Although I have to say I have more tickets than I know what to do with because when given the option of what I want the most, like, I save my tickets. <laughs> So then I just don't claim the things. <laughs> but I'll claim it all before the end of the season. Some of you says, I'm actually waiting to see if the Fallout TV show will be good or lame. Trying to get motivated to, to get motivated to get stuff done, some of you says. I hope that the Fallout TV show is good. I'm planning on it being like the main TV show I watch coming up soon. Which it's just in time too because I just finished Avatar the last airbender and it was good i went into it having mixed feelings and i ended it thinking it was good sniper man boss says you save tickets and save money yay that's true i'm a saver big j says positive energy and positive vibes right back at you big j delthorian says a wild delthorian has appeared Hi, Dalthorian. It's so good to see you. How are you, my friend? Super heartness. Oh, DMH Flip made it in. Yay. Heartness. Good to know. Good to know. But yeah, I do want the Adelaide character friend. I always wanted my own Assaultron, so I'm grinding for her right now. I think she's two pages past where I am. Wolfsden says, Amazon ruined the Wheel of Time, so not really expecting much. Hope I'm wrong. Yeah, I heard a lot of people say that about the Wheel of Time. And I hope that it's good. I know that Todd Howard is one of the executive producers for it, so hopefully having his oversight will keep it pure enough that people still enjoy it, you know? But I think we also need to give them some creative room to do a different project. Like, it's not gonna be exactly 
like everything's been before, you know? And that's okay. I think just having Todd Howard on the team at all makes it canon. Labyrinth says, earlier I watched half of the ARC animated series. How is that, Labyrinth? Simifi says, looks like we can binge watch it and it's a prime show, so you could do an official watch party on Twitch. So Simifi, I had planned on watching all of it on Twitch on a watch party. I guess you haven't seen the news yet. They're canceling watch parties. Watch parties officially shut down, like, in a week. And I'm really bummed because it, it like almost perfectly lines up with the Fallout show. And I mean, I've never wanted to do a watch party before. So like <laughs> in the years that there's been watch parties, like I, I don't think I've ever done one. Like I talked about it a little bit here and there, but was never that serious about it. With the Fallout show, I was like, I'm doing it. It's happening. This is it. We're going to do a watch party every week. And then they're like, yeah, never mind. We don't do that anymore. I'm like, are you freaking serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've only even attended a few watch parties. They've been pretty rare for the most part. But there's a, I think there's one streamer I know that uses them pretty consistently. And then I've been to a couple other random watch parties. They can be fun. And interestingly enough, I almost feel like they've picked up in popularity more recently. But I don't know. Some of you says, not people were using it, but it seems weird to cancel it since it doesn't use any other systems than telling non-prime people they can view. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. So I think one of the reasons that it wasn't that popular was because, like, for example, if you're not already a partner, it might mess up your statistics. Or heck, even if you are a partner and you're trying to keep certain statistics for sponsorships or something, like, it would mess up your statistics. So that's the only reason I can think of of why it never really gained traction. Because they still count your viewers and they still count it as a stream, even if, like, it's a watch party. But... And then, obviously, like, half your viewership is automatically not even able to come. <laughs> but I, I've recently just stopped caring about my statistics on Twitch. I'm just, I'm really focused on YouTube and I'm just hanging out on Twitch for fun. Like, I hope things get better, but I've been at the same numbers for, like, four years. Um, so I try not to put too much worry into it anymore. And that was part of why I decided I was willing to go ahead and jump in and do a watch party because I'll like I'm not gonna say that I'm not trying to make partner anymore but I'm not so worried about it that I wouldn't watch fallout with my street with my people you know I felt like that was a really good reason to mess up my numbers but they took the opportunity away from me some of you says, my, my nephew was hating on Halo when it first came out because he was way into the extended universe and stuff. But he ended getting sick and binge watched it and changed his mind. So long as he thought of it as an alternate timeline universe, he was able to acknowledge that it is perfectly fine sci-fi series. Well, that's good. I'm glad he ended up having a good experience with it. Corey says, back to work. Have fun, everyone. Oh, I'm really happy you got to come by for a little while, Corey. I hope to see you again soon. Super heartness. Sniper Man Boss says, I've only had one issue on an order. Got my money back. And other than that, Amazon has been good. Yeah, Amazon's good. And they make returns really easy. Big J says, they're, they're getting rid of watch parties. Yeah, I think that happens like within a week from now. Big J says, Twitch seems very difficult. So, like, it's just, it's, the thing with Twitch is you have, there's very little you can do to control it, right? Like, pretty much, it, it just depends on if you're popular or not. That's all there is to it. On YouTube, there's a lot more you can do. If you're working really hard, they reward you for working really hard, you know? Which is part of why I, I switched my focus over here. Um, because two and a half, three years on Twitch, I had opened my application to, to request partnership, but I didn't keep the numbers up to get partnership. And I was like, well, 
maybe this isn't where I'm meant to be. And so I started messing around on YouTube and I really liked it. And now here I am. I'm a full YouTube partner. I love my community here. I love meeting new people. I love the fact that w after I'm done streaming here, um, I actually get more views when I'm not live than I did when I was originally live. Hi, all the people watching afterwards. Thank you for being here. So, I mean, there's different things about YouTube that just makes it better in my perspective. However, like I started my content creation career technically on Twitter, but the first place I live streamed was on Twitch and I built my community there. I love so many people over there. Technically, when I'm live, my numbers on Twitch are still higher than when I'm on YouTube. I, I get more... So here's a here's a funny, weird thing. Let me just blow your mind with random numbers real quick. Technically, more people watch me on YouTube, but more people watch me live on Twitch. Does that make sense? So, like... All in all, more people actually watch me on YouTube, but it doesn't look like it, because when I'm live, I average, like, 13 viewers or something. <laughs> <laughs> but then I actually get like 5,000 viewers throughout the entire month. Ah. Crash. But I don't know. Like, I'm never leaving Twitch. And I'm still gonna try to be a Twitch partner. But I'm just not super focused on it. Because there's, there's nothing you can do to control it. You're either popular or you're not. And I'm just kind of mid. Which is okay. I'm happy being mid. I'm happy that you guys actually hang out with me. My life is good. <laughs> Big J says, although YouTube was a very tough challenge, it became manageable. And see, that's the thing. Like, YouTube's like, if you work your ass off, you can legitimately do this. There is some eff There is a certain amount of effort you can put in to make this happen. Like... There's no amount of effort you can put in on Twitch to make it happen. Like, it's either going to happen or it's not. For real. It's out of your control. Ah! Wolf's Den says, you are a well-traveled hologram. <laughs> yeah, for real. I love thinking about that. Like, that uh, if my image being broadcast in different places counts as traveling then I am very well traveled. I've thought about that before because like I have one friend that, that's like I'm taking you for a walk in the Irish fields. <laughs> that's what he says and it's really funny and I'm like thanks for taking me for a walk and then I imagine my face broadcasting like on the phone in the Irish fields and I'm like that's pretty cool I've never been to Ireland but yet I have. Oh my gosh! The moth man! This is the second time the Mothman has just come up to me in the last couple days. I guess he was just ma- Oh my gosh, is this the Mothman bridge? No, the Mothman bridge is over by the Mothman place, but- That was crazy, you guys! Wow! The actual Mothman, uh, myth started- Mothman legend, I don't even think it's a myth. But the Mothman legend started when a bridge collapsed and multiple people saw the Mothman at the same time. So that's like the original story. And so we just saw Mothman on a bridge. That's that's crazy and cool. Simophy says, Twitch is hating on you with timing. Multi-stream not allowed when you did it. Now you on YouTube and Twitch says you can multi-stream. Now you want a watch party. No watch party. Honestly, maybe. Because they used to invite me to things and they don't anymore. But I think, like, I was a little bitter for a little while that I almost made partner and then didn't. And then I started, like, talking on Twitch about how partnership on Twitch didn't matter. Because, like, you couldn't do whatever you wanted anyway. And maybe they hold that against me. It's possible. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Twitch. I still love you. I love you more than ever now because Dan Clancy is cool. Simi P says, Is why I was suggesting you pick up the multi-streaming again so people can watch you on both and raise them to tuber numbers. So honestly... I don't foresee myself doing that anytime soon because there's a lot of things I do on Twitch that wouldn't be allowed on YouTube as far as like sound alerts, etc. 
And I think that people would be sad to lose them. And also, I handle my YouTube streams differently because I often present them as a video. They've got a beginning, a middle, and an end. Sometimes they have a storyline. Like, on, on Twitch, it's literally just I go live and whatever happens, happens. There's no plan. It's completely chaotic. Like, they're two com completely different things. I think that... It's great everybody's multi-streaming now. The only reason I quit is because I didn't want to pay for the service that allowed me to multi-stream. Maybe someday I'll pay for it again. But even then, I'm not sure that I'll connect Twitch and YouTube. Maybe I'll do, like, Twitch and Twitter at the same time. Or Twitch and X, I mean. Because I've been streaming on X a little bit here and there. And I know, uh... Elon Musk said he wants to make X like a competitor for Twitch, so I'm like, all right, I'll I'll stream on your platform. Simple enough. Some of he says mid people do better after reaching partner. I mean, we'll see. Like, I'm not quitting. It's just a matter of popularity, right? It's not something I can control. If people want to show up and watch me when I'm live, then they'll show up and watch me when I'm live. If I get a little bit closer average-wise to partner, I might start asking people to come watch me. But there's no use in doing it right now when I'm like barely halfway there in average, you know? At the same time, like, my viewership is huge compared to a lot of people who try really hard, so I absolutely cannot be unhappy with with what I have or my progress like I'm just I'm very I'm very satisfied and happy with my community and if it grows then the new people will be welcome but I think that the people are here right now are very important and good and I love them I would say there are some things you can do on Twitch, but it's much harder to do, and you can't do anything offline. YouTube lets you grow when you're not live. Yeah, exactly. That's another reason why I, I decided to switch my focus to YouTube, because I don't know if you knew me at the time, Simophy. I think I might have already stopped this by the time I met you. But I used to stream 12 to 16 hours a day, 6 days a week. For like, a year? <laughs> or something? <laughs> and that and then I was like not like I was like wow I'm literally giving my all to this and and it's not growing at the at the pace that I want it to so that's when I started looking into okay well what can I control in content creation and then also I mean just like the fact that People watch my stuff when I'm not live, and I'm growing even when I'm taking a break. Like, that's another reason why YouTube's so appealing, because it's a realistic grind. Also, not trying to brag or anything, but being a partner on YouTube is the best paying job in content creation. You make more money on ad revenue if you're a full-fledged partner on YouTube than anywhere else, any platform, period. Some of you says we need a Twitch too. <laughs> For real. A lot of nerds love Papa Elon, so X might be a good choice to get on in the ground level if it's happening. Yeah, I've done a stream so far and I actually liked it. And honestly, I mean, I love X as a platform anyway. I've already got a pretty good following over there. I get lots of engagements on my posts. So... To me, it, it makes sense as a business decision to stream over there. I just gotta get a little bit more focused on setting that up as a regular thing. My to-do list is a little too long right now. Big J says yes. Yeah, high five, Big J. Boom. <laughs> Big J recently hit a uh, full partnership on YouTube. Congratulations, by the way. Because the way YouTube does it, it's kind of like affiliate and partner on Twitch, but they call it partner and partner. <laughs> you're like an entry partner, and then you're like a full partner. So yeah, Big J just officially became full partner like, what, a week ago or something, dude? Congratulations, man. 
Simapi says, I came in on the tail end of that. On the tail end of me uh, streaming nonstop. Twitch has a lot of issues with catching the fads to spark them numbers. Yeah, and that's another thing. Like, I, I've, especially lately, I've really kind of realized that I'm not somebody who wants to become famous based on controversy. So, like, I'm never going to be somebody who chases t controversial trends, which is how a lot of girls get really big on Twitch. I'm never going to be somebody who does drama YouTube. Even though I love watching drama YouTube, I'm not going to make that content. Like, I don't want to make any... I don't want to produce content that makes anybody feel bad, essentially. Like, I want to make content that makes people feel happy and good. And I feel like I'm kind of bland. No, I'm not bland. But I'm never going to do anything that's so controversial, it'll, like, stir up business. And I feel like you almost have to do something really controversial to get super famous, you know? So I don't know, I might just, I might just chill and just be a gamer and be an IRL person. The IRL stuff is coming back, like, soon. I actually just got some new equipment I'm excited to test out. Big J says, yeah, thank you, fam. To keep it real, I'm very proud of you. You are very business-oriented, and I love that about you. Thank you, Big J. Heartness. Yeah, I take this very seriously as my business. It's true. Thank you for noticing that. I appreciate that compliment. And you do too, sir. I love that about you as well. That's one way we really connected when I first met you, is you and I were both hitting it on all the platforms, like, what's gonna stick? <laughs> and it was YouTube. YouTube stuck. Because YouTube freaking treats the creators better than any other platform, period. Thanks, YouTube. We love you. Simafi says, I made some Minecraft Technic install videos for the instructors for the STEM place I was working. Didn't check on the video after making them. Did it do really well? <laughs> Minecraft, dude, I'm telling you. Came back a couple years later and one of the vids has 4,000 views and people asking for more support. Congratulations, Simafi. That's awesome. Yeah. Minecraft's super popular. Almost anything with Minecraft in the title does well. I was pretty surprised, like, the videos I've made with Turtle, uh, they only have, a f they only have, like, 500-ish views, but that's huge for the first couple things that he released. <laughs> like, he released two videos. <laughs> he actually has filmed another one, I just have to edit it, but I think the sound might be messed up. He might have to refilm it. Oh, I don't need cranberry cobbler. It's I'm the mayor. Ram says, "Have a wonderful stream, Dahlia." Can't hang out tonight. I'm I'm gonna like and dash. Thank you, Ram. That means a lot that you stopped by to like. Everybody, go subscribe to Ram, another Fallout 76 creator, and he's awesome. Super heartless friend. I hope you have a good night. But yeah, I think that Twitch has made a lot of improvements over the last year. Like, having Dan Clancy as CEO, ironically, a lot of people were very nervous about it. But he's turned out to be, in my opinion, the best thing that's ever happened to Twitch. Like, I- and he also streams. Did you guys know he streams? I like to go to his streams and be involved in his community. I think he's really a nice personality. But also just the changes he's brought to Twitch, I feel like, have been very valid and awesome. And I feel like 
he's definitely kind of I mean it looks like he was given kind of a a bad a, a company that was falling apart right and he's fixing it I do legitimately feel like he is so I feel better about twitch than I ever have the feelings that I used to have about them I no longer have and that's why I've that's why I'm saying I would want to be a partner over there again. Like a year ago or so, I probably wouldn't have said that, but now I do. Now I would like that. Some of you see says, I got 5,000 hours of Minecraft experience and deep technical knowledge. If you ever want to add some Minecraft videos to your YouTube, let me know. Oh, cool, Simophy. That's awesome. I honestly don't play YouTube or Minecraft. Um, my family all plays it. Like, Zelda and Minecraft. Those are the two games that they all play that I don't play. And I guess like the Zelda series, obviously. And they're always like, try this game with us. I'm like, no. <laughs> they're with with Zelda, they're even to the point like, will you play the game if we do the puzzles for you? I'm like, really? <laughs> you want me to play that bad? <laughs> Make it like a family event. I do the RPG stuff, they do the puzzles. Maybe. Maybe I'll do that. And my point in all that is, it is unlikely that I will make a Minecraft video besides just editing it. However, I really appreciate that offer and... <laughs> I mean, if you want to collaborate with Turtle, he makes YouTube videos on Minecraft. So, and I'm technically, that's technically my channel. The Turtle King channel is technically mine. It's just not me making the content. For example, I have Minecraft Horror Pack that I never finished. It's 300 plus mods, custom stuff. Interesting. I wish an event would pop. Let me check out my stuff. Effects, casual team rested, I need to eat. Do you guys want to see the house I've been building? Oh, I need to make more cranberry relish. Let's go make more cranberry relish first. Well, we can grab the ingredients at my greenhouse, and then we can go to my new house to make cranberry relish. Some of you says, sure, we could do it for turtle. Just saying, I got some Minecraft stuff the world has never seen. That's pretty epic, Simophy. May have to take you up on that, because that sounds like a pretty, a pretty solid gold offer. I would be of I would not be of sound mind to be offered Minecraft things the world has never seen for a YouTube channel and not take it. <laughs> for real. Some of these says, Turtle handle the horror. I mean, honestly, he's a little young for horror, but he loves it. <laughs> so it depends on what it is. I would have to check it out and make sure I approve, of course. But yeah, he actually does like horror. So let's see, I guess I will fast travel to my houseboat, which is the name of my new place. We're gonna go to Fashnat, but we're gonna wait a second, because I still have to make my cranberry relish.
Nukatron! Like join my scavenger hunt today. We're gathering. Unstable What'd you make? What'd you make me? Ooh, thank you! I love it. What rank did it say I achieved? 25? I feel like I need to move my camera. Source. Where's my stuff here? Uh-oh. Camera frame. Camera. It's always hard to do this live. I usually mess it up. But I feel like I keep, like, my picture is just right where it's blocking important information. So we'll see if this helps. Someone be says, like, I made a TNT arena for math training about arcs. Kids had to calculate the distance, height, and angle of the targets and load that into the... The heart's blocking it. To the control center. Cool. That's awesome, Simophy. I love that. Well, I think that it would be really neat for... I bet Turtle would be excited, too, to play with horror mods. <laughs> He'd be more excited about it than I am. Because <laughs> I'd be like, oh no, Turtle horror mods. He would be like, ah, <laughs> yes! <sighs> So this is my house so far, but I need to put lighting in it. Yeah, that's one of the things I was talking about. YouTube chat being inferior. They have that icon that blocks chat. So there's definitely some stuff about the viewer experience that makes YouTube a little bit... Well, okay, so Twitch has spent so much money and so much effort into different things to make their chat really OP. Like, they've got tons of features that no other platform can even come close on. That's where they put, like, all their effort, is the viewer experience. So I, I will give them that. YouTube's, you, YouTube's kind of slacking on that, but... At the same time, I mean, it's not, like, horrible or anything. <laughs> Silver says, YouTube chat is not as good as Twitch, for sure. Come on, YouTube, fix the chat! Crashykins, hi, Super Heartness, how are you? I hope you're having a good day. All drinks boiled water. We're gonna make cranberry relish. Silver says, Hi, how you doing? Good thing I checked Discord again. Thought your bonus stream was on Twitch. I've been watching for that. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I have a bonus stream on Twitch on Saturday. Sorry about that, Silver. Maybe we should write in the Twitch chat bonus stream is on YouTube. Because it does get confusing as heck, doesn't it? Crashy says, nice house. And with a little TLC, it'll be a great place. Thanks, Crashy. I'm really excited about it.
I can't type. All right. In case there's anybody else in the chat there. Looks like one person I know is in my chat right now besides you, Silver. So yeah, maybe maybe one other person did think that it was there. What's your favorite build, Crashy Kids? What's the favorite thing you've ever built? Do I have all the ingredients now? Prepared. What am I missing? Cranberry relish. Sugar! I'm missing sugar, you guys! Oh my gosh, we have to go on a sugar run. Okay. I might miss Fashnot, but then again, I might not miss Fashnot, because Fashnot is long. <laughs> oh, I'm over-encumbered. Why? Why am I always over-encumbered? <laughs> Always. Over in Cucumbered. Crashy Kin says, My house on the river gives off spooky night of the fishman vibes due the, to the Atlantic City Fog weather machine. I love that. I was actually thinking about getting the new rain and thunderstorm one. I don't have any atoms right now, but I was thinking about maybe getting some atoms for that. Because I like the idea of the rainy. But the foggy vibe is really cool too. I want to see your house. I love that. Kind of like Far Harbor Fallout 4 type vibes. Far Harbor Fallout 4 was like the OP DLC. Can I fast travel now? My favorite thing is my... Oh yeah. My favorite thing is my house on the river... South of Point Pleasant, Crashykin says. Nice. Are we friends in game already, Crashykins? I've got a pet deathclaw and a random NPC that chops wood. That sounds awesome. I love that. I don't have any random NPCs. My friend Lucas likes to get pets, but I've never done that. In fact, even after I collected the pet getting cards, I think I actually just deleted them. Because I, like I was like, I never get pets. Delete! <laughs> yeah, that is one thing I don't like, Silver. But, I don't know. They know they have problems. I've even seen some of the really the really big um, streamers like Moist Critical and Ludwig have both mentioned in videos like YouTube would be superior if these things were fixed about their chat, you know, stuff like that. So, I mean, it's a well-known thing. But as a streamer, I like YouTube the best because they treat me the best and because I can get three times the result from the same amount of work or even you can technically get an infinite amount of result from the same amount of work if you if the algorithm just kept passing your stream to people And on Twitch, like, once you're not live anymore, you might get one or two people who are really big fans that watch your VOD, but most people are not going to go back and watch your Twitch VOD. But on YouTube, it's very common. It'll just, like, go through on, on your playlist or come through in your random whatever's next. Silver says, I was actually watching another YouTube streamer, don't know if she's still active, but six years ago she did reacting videos to the show Supernatural. Oh, cool. Really fun to watch someone who did not watch the show become a fan. I love that.
I'm just pulling some veggies along the, the river. We're gonna go cooking. <laughs> Crashykin says my pet only freaks out when I switch to my red rocket service station at, at the crossroads near the antique shop in Cranberry Bog. So that's cool. Your pet goes with you from house to house. That's Building different from friends, right? Or allies. Allies, I think you can assign a different one per house. But pets move with you? That's cool. I didn't know that. And what does it mean when he freaks out? Does he, like, try to attack people? <laughs> Some of he says, yeah, tell Pony to multi-stream. She never posts her content over to YouTube, but she has a surprisingly high number of Twitch VOD views. Like, triple that of anyone else's stats I can see. Interesting. Yeah, it's too bad she's not making the YouTube money off of it. She definitely should. But I know it's it's difficult, and like I was saying before, like it might have something to do with she's using something that gets flagged if she puts it on YouTube. Because there's a lot of stuff I use on Twitch that gets flagged. Like, I recently tried to move a bunch of my VODs over here, and ev like I, it got flagged so much I was like, I'm gonna have to rebuild my entire stream to do this, it's just not even worth it right now, I'll just keep it separate, you know? I think that's why a lot of people end up not doing it, is because YouTube is so much more... Well, YouTube is, in a sense, being more respectful of people's artwork by flagging it if you're using someone else's stuff, right? Whether it be a sound clip or a video clip or whatever, like... It's technically the right thing for them to do. They're being... They're being good <laughs> by doing that. But the thing is, is that it just makes it so that, like, unless you literally have nothing interesting in your stream at all, it's gonna get flagged. Silver says, our power just flickered a bit. I thought I was gonna lose connection. Not sure why, no stream outside. Hmm. Crashykin says, I'm doing well, thanks. I hope you're doing great. Crashykin says, well, when you transfer camps to a different biome, the pet changes type and level. It changes type? So, like, it might not be a Deathclaw anymore? Or it might not be al- I remember hearing something about this. Like, there's the, uh, the pure white Deathclaws. Right? I heard that somebody was so excited because they got one of those and then they m moved camps or they loaded in and they're and it changed to like a regular death claw and they were pissed. <laughs> that, that would suck. Oh, I killed a baby. That sucks. The Muffy says, yeah, but jerks have weaponized that copyright claims. Also, I would say less being respectful and more not wanting to deal with getting dragged lawsuits. But the thing is, is that, like, partners are able to claim their own stuff. So, like, and people are able to appeal and have it be very thoughtfully considered by YouTube. So, like, if, if somebody copyright claims your stuff and it triggers automatically because of the, because it, let's say it uses a clip from a video, right? that you made and you put a copyright claim on that. The person can still appeal it and YouTube might still let that remain monetized if they can see that the person actually didn't break copyright law by somehow editing the video, editing the clip and using it because they were adding value to it and not just straight up stealing the clip. Like it's complicated. But technically, the way that they do it on YouTube is way better. The way that it's done on Twitch, people don't even understand what's going on over there. Like, 
not trying to be like, I know everything, but I understand what's going on over there. So then when I hear people talk about it, I'm like, wow, you guys have no information about this. And rather than try to help everyone learn about it, I've just given up. And I, I just let them think whatever they want. <laughs> But I kind of like law. Law is something I'm very interested in, actually. I uh, have even considered, because I'm, I'm on track to go to law school, and I've even considered focusing on copyright law. Like, that's how much I like it for real. And so, like, with Twitch, t Twitch tries to cover their butts by muting stuff. And that's fine. And then they even don't mute a lot of stuff that YouTube would catch. So, like, Twitch is all about just... Twitch doesn't actually issue individual copyright strikes. Twitch works as a platform where they receive the copyright strike and then they pass it on to the streamer. YouTube actually has a system that tries that that can issue copyright strikes, but that's because the work that is made on YouTube becomes copyright via YouTube through the partner program. Like I said, it's complicated. So when Twitch is doing it, they're doing it actively to just try to cover themselves from getting fines. When YouTube does it, it's oftentimes trying to protect other creators on their own platform. Simophy says, I have watched lots of drama videos from Twitch partners. It has improved slightly, but start of 2023, I was seeing videos of people losing five months of monetization and YouTube saying, we fixed it. Well, I mean, my simple reaction to that is, why are they using copyright material that can't be appealed and then complaining about being demonetized? You can get away with that on Twitch, you can't do it on YouTube. Which, like I said, is actually more respectful to the artists that originally created the work, because... They don't allow you to steal. Silver says, this girl that did the reaction vids, she had some of them demonetized and even got a strike, but might be due to her actually showing the show in her vids. If she actually showed the show and she didn't make any effort to edit it so that it was new content, and if she didn't, if she basically didn't, um, use copyright law to make it new content, then yeah, she could get struck for that. But that would just be her not understanding how to do it. Because technically you could use short clips of a show on a YouTube video and have it be completely fine as long as you do it according to the law. And Simophy says, but we won't be giving you the five months we paid to somebody else because we already lost that money. That I don't understand. Are you talking... So sometimes, like, if it's a song, they will give a portion of the uh, song to the... So another thing that YouTube does differently is if they, if they find copyright material in your works, they won't always just take it down. Sometimes what they do is they give your money to the person who rightfully owns the content. That's kind of what that sounds like, is that they used someone else's content and then YouTube gave the person who originally created the content and had the rights to the content the money. Which is part of their policy. Silver says she didn't play the whole show, she edits it, but still could be an issue with the creator. Yeah, I mean, it must have something to do with her not following copyright law in how she edits it. Because as long as she's following copyright law and the fair use law, particularly, it's okay to use 
snips and pieces of, of a show. And, and, I mean, some shows they might just be like, nah, straight up, we don't want you to use this at all. And then that would be too bad. But most people who are, like, creating TV shows at this point would rather have little snippets of their show be used in a YouTube video and call more attention to the show, because then that will in turn get them more viewers than go after somebody for using 10 seconds of their show, you know? Simophy says, I'm pretty familiar with both. I'm happy you're having a good time with YouTube, and I hope it stays that way for you. I have seen some bad things for YouTube, just like Twitch. They were not using copyright claim stuff. Someone was falsely claiming copyright on their vids, and the YouTube system auto-shifted monetization over to the other party. But, Simophy, the thing is, is that if it was false, they should have been able to appeal it. Like, that stuff doesn't just happen. They probably didn't tell you the whole story. Because, I mean, there's, like, there was something that they were doing that that warranted that to happen to them. They're just not admitting it. That stuff doesn't just come out of nowhere. I've actually had, um, <laughs> I've had a few things be, uh, brought to my attention since I became a partner. And I would say that the system works very well from my experience with it. Some of you says, that is what I was saying about weaponizing the system. There was a whole slew of copyright claim bots that hit YouTube 2021 and 2022 and they would claim the material. But YouTube didn't do their due diligence to verify the bot claiming it had the copyright rights. So then my, what I would say in turn to that is the creator was responsible for proving that they had the rights to use it. Because that's what an appeal is. An appeal is proving you have the rights to use it. Anyway, like, there are definitely ways to avoid getting copyright struck all the way around. And the, the easiest way to avoid that is just don't use other people's stuff. And if you're, if you're not sure if something belongs to someone else, just don't use it. Like, it's pretty simple, really. It's 100% possible to make cop copyright-free content. Or... It's 100% it's possible to make completely unique and original content not utilizing anyone else's art so that there's no reason whatsoever for you to be copyright struck. I mean, I feel like I remember a few things similar to what you're talking about, Simophy. I don't doubt you that it happened. But I always take everything like that with a grain of, grain of salt because just as much as YouTube may not have done their due diligence to make sure that the bot claiming copyright actually owned it, on the flip side, the YouTuber obviously didn't do enough to prove that, that they owned it and, and, had, and it was original to them. You know what I mean? Because otherwise there wouldn't have been an issue. And so that could have just been completely eliminated by not using stuff that wasn't originally yours. If you're gonna use stuff that's not originally yours, you take the risk of a copyright flag coming your way. That's just the way it is. And, I mean, same goes for me when I use some of the alerts on Twitch that I can't use on YouTube. But Twitch has allowed it so far, so... Heck, on, um, YouTube, sometimes I've been flagged for stuff that's in the game. 
Like, I, there's certain parts that I've had to learn, okay, I know that when I go into this area, it plays a song, and the person who owns that song has somebody manually watching every single Fallout 76 stream and video to see if their song plays, and then if they do, they flag it. So, like, you know? <laughs> Now I have to make sure to turn down the music and make it inaudible every time I go into that area. But th it's just, it, that's something that I have to do to be responsible because I don't own that song. Hi person who watches every single YouTube video of Fallout 76 looking for their song. I like that song by the way, but I'm not gonna use it cause it's not mine. Big J says, I like to promote my friends, and they are artists, and I love to help them get noticed. Yeah, Big J, that's awesome. Me too. That's a good way to be. I love that about you. Simophy says, yeah, the appeal took five months, and after it was resolved, they never got paid the five months they lost from the bot hijacking their own material. I mean, if they could prove that, they could sue. So, like, hands down over and over again, there's something that they're not saying, you know? They could absolutely sue for the lost uh, money if they had right to it. Some of you says the real kicker is when you pay for a copyright for something then get hit with a copyright because the intro song you bought has three seconds of the same notes of a popular song. You gotta be really careful because a lot of the, the copyright licensing stuff is like flimsy at best. Unless you're working directly with an organization or a person that 100% owns the rights to whatever they're allowing you to use, there's always a risk of something changing down the road. Some of you says, after working in the corporate world for 15 years and I have seen things the average person would not believe went down. Same, Simophy, same. Did you know that uh, my position before becoming a streamer was finance manager for nonprofits. I started gaming full time because it's what I loved. Anything good happening? I'm 40 pounds overweight! In real life and in the game! I gotta go back to the gym! No, I don't know if I'm 40 pounds overweight, but I think I'm like a little overweight right now. That always happens after Christmas! Why? Wait, it's three months after Christmas. I've gotta stop eating so much candy! Here's to the candy people. I'm definitely gonna eat some candy after this stream and then wonder why I did that. Actually, I might not. I don't have any candy right now. But I love candy.
Crashy Kin says candy and coffee. Yeah, candy and coffee. What am I carrying that's so heavy? I have a Fashnat Toothy Man mask. Put that away. More Toothy Man mask. Crashykin says clothing isn't giving you the weight. Do you mean in real life or in the game? Oh man, I did some grant application writing freelance for this lady and I walked away from one project because the non-for-profit had a lady in charge that moved money into a fund for... Let it all out, Simophy! Let it all out! <laughs> Crashykin says, I always check my inventory for spoiled meat. And food stuff. Yeah... A lot of this might be food stuff, because that's what we were collecting right before this. Let's get out and do some cooking and see if that helps. Silver says, oh, I can believe it. I think those claiming to be donating to charity only technically have to give a small amount, somewhere between 1 and 10%, I think, in order for it to be legal. Oh, wow, Simophy. I mean, you should have reported that. Like, there's the... What's it called? Charity Navigator? And... Charity Navigator is a good resource to make sure that a charity is legit, but also what you need, like, if you look at any nonprofit's tax return, their, uh, their annual audit, their 990, you should be able to tell if they're legitimate or not based on how much they have in program. They need 90% or more of their uh, spending to be in program to be, like... A truly a truly good charity that's actually really doing what they're supposed to be doing because an auditor will come in and make sure that the program stuff is really program that's like their whole job but I always look at a 990 before I start supporting a charity speaking of charity we are gonna be raising money for the make-a-wish foundation starting like Either the first or second week of April. I'll do another official announcement closer to, but we're going to have a week of fundraising for Make-A-Wish. I'm very excited. And that'll be across Twitch and YouTube. Well, you know, like, you definitely have to watch out just like in any field, there's always people who will take advantage of the system if they can get away with it. I mean, look at freaking what's his name? The crypto guy. Something fried. He just got sentenced to 25 years in prison today for fraud and stealing $8 billion. $8 billion. But that doesn't mean that every person that is in crypto is bad. So. 
Crashykin says, awesome, make a wish is a great charity. Yeah, I'm very excited. We're gonna have a goal of $500 for the week. Glowing fungus puree. Hmm. Yay, now my cranberry relish is showing. All of that work and we finally got it done. Silver says, Simon. Fried. Yeah, he's got a, another name. He's got, like, Fried is his second last name. But Fried is his second last name. That's correct. I guess I happened to read an article about him today and his parents were at court and his mother's last name is Fried and his father's last name is something else and he has both last names. And his parents are law professors. Silver says Logan Paul should also be in prison. He scammed millions out of people. Yeah! I wonder if anything will ever happen from that. I've definitely seen the YouTube videos on it. And, I mean, freaking Prime is, like, all the rage with kids, right? And, like, Turtle and Gumi are like, Prime, Prime! I'm like, I don't want to buy that. Because <laughs> of Logan Paul. But, I don't know. They still, they still get it sometimes. The hydration one, not the energy drink. Crashykin says, I prefer tasty squirrel stew. Yeah, tasty squirrel, squirrel stew is good too. The main reason that I focus on cranberry relish is because it's easier to get the ingredients. <laughs> So if he says, be back later, mom, I gotta go get a crime. <laughs> to be honest, Turtle's way more into it than Gumi. Gumi's kind of aged out of that nonsense, I think. But Turtle's like, all the kids at school have a prime. All the kids at school have a freaking Stanley. I'm like, you can have a Stanley if you want, but the question is, do you really want one, like, for real? <laughs> I'm like, let's think about this for a minute. <laughs> I liked the hot Hydro Flasks. Like, why can't Hydro Flasks still be the thing? They were a much better water bottle, in my opinion. Like cheese heartness, how are you? Thank you so much for coming in. Everybody, please go follow I Like Cheese. They're another awesome content creator. Crashykin says it, its effects are doubled for cranberry relish if you have the herbivore mutation. Yeah! So I currently don't use any mutation for food because I like to be able to eat everything. But the effects being doubled would be pretty OP because that would make it 20. But then I would never get to eat steak again. DMH Flip says, I'm old. I feel like I'm listening to a foreign language right now. Yeah, that's like the stuff that's trendy with... with children. I help take care of some very often awesome kids. Not often awesome, always awesome. <laughs> Very awesome kids, and they've been a light in my life. It's been cool. 
Somebody says, I eat the mutant food in real life. Mm. Give you the cannibal card. Crash. We have a card for that. Off and on some. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I just had like a misfire in my neurons or something. It happens after I've been streaming a while. Crashykin says, yeah, I'm still on the fence about if I want herbivore or carnivore. For me, if I did one or the other, it would definitely be herbivore. But I like making all the different foods because... As long as they are giving you different things, they all stack. Like, you can have an agility bonus, an endurance bonus, a luck bonus, an intelligence bonus. You can have AP uh, regeneration, health regeneration. Like, if they all do different things, you can have them all on at the same time. And then you have, like, an ins when I eat all my food, I have an insane list of all the things that it's helping with. But you have to be careful if you do that, because if you eat something that does the same thing, even if it's the inferior of the two, it'll give you that new bonus instead. doop a doop boo I don't know why I'm so heavy. I don't want to move my camp here. Where the heck's the railroad? Let's go to the railroad. Straight ahead. Server says, don't let them drink it. If there's an unknown underlying heart condition, it would kill them. As Panera Lemonade did to two people, Prime has about the same or more caffeine in it. So there's a Prime Energy drink, which I don't let them drink. And then there's like a Prime Gatorade type thing. And they're, they're allowed to drink the Gatorade type thing occasionally. I think it tastes horrible. So I'm like, why do you even want this? They literally just want it because it's trendy. Which is how people make money off of it. Some foods and cheese will unalienable my character. Cheese, chems, lol. Ah, uh, <laughs> Simophy, I love that. Taco or sushi vor. Do I have to pick one or the other? Because those are literally my two favorite foods. But yeah, Silver, you're right. I don't let the kids drink caffeine if I can help it. Like, besides an occasional Coke or whatever. Like, an occasional soda pop is okay for a kid. But definitely no energy drinks. I honestly don't even think energy drinks are okay for adults. This coming from someone who drinks one every once in a while, but... I love my Red Bull. I would drink Red Bull way more often if it wasn't so bad for me. <laughs> Crashykin says, Unalive. Some foods and chems will unalive my character. I run a bloodied commando build and I have all the mutations I need except for the food one. Ah, okay. Unalive your character. How? That makes you a yummy boar. How dare you eat what you like? Was it like Gatorade or made by Gatorade? It It's like Gatorade. It's supposed to have like electrolytes in it and stuff and it's fruit flavored. It's nasty. I took a sip and it was disgusting. 10 out of 10. Don't recommend. <laughs> 1 out of 10. Don't recommend. Little do I know, Logan Paul is lurking on this stream. He's like, well, if you then, and then he leaves. Sorry. Good on you for making business moves, but I don't like that drink. Ah! 
I just murdered an innocent woman. What am I doing? I wonder if she would have given me a free comic book if I had spoken to her. Oh, I don't think it's actually made by Gatorade. I was just comparing it to Gatorade because it's like a hydrating electrolyte delivering sports drink. That's why I said Gatorade. Just as a comparison. So like, Prime has an energy drink and a Gatorade type drink. Crashykin says they gave me too much health, then when the effect wears off it puts me under the amount of health I normally have, and then rip. Oh. <laughs> that makes sense. I can see that happening, because it like bumps your hit points for a bit, and then the hit points go away. That makes sense. I'm actually going to start my first bloody build soon, so I'll have to learn all the ways of the bloody build. Dude, why am I so over encumbered? Inventory favorites. Let's see, I was gonna keep this. I'm gonna sell and a bunch of stuff. And other I'm the mayor, is the robot. Here. I guess I don't need eight pounds of this. Maybe I should... Well, I will do this for now. Hi, Michael James! How you doing? We have Luke and Zade in the United Kingdom, but I am told it is not the same thing. Labyrinth says, does not contain real gators. Lol. His brother Jake Paul is fighting Mike Tyson in June or July, and I hope Tyson hits Jake's ball so hard that it makes Logan return. Oh, that's I mean. <laughs> authorized to trade supply and equipment. That's a mean thing to say, Silva. You know what I really want to see more of? Tyson's tigers. Why don't we get to see more of Tyson's tigers? Welcome Does he still have tigers? I, am authorized to I would assume he probably supplies. can't be as public about it now. Now Maybe... Available. Hmm... Let's arrange by weight. Glowing meat, gourd, death claw now steak, glowing meat steak. And gear. A lot of this stuff I actually legitimately need. I guess some of these nuka colas I can put in the donation box. I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need these. Up now while supplies are available. Just joined the Discord and gave you a follow on Twitch. Yay! Awesome, Crashykins! That's great! Thank you! Did you already add me in game too? Do you have a, a same name in game or a different ga name in game? Supply here, citizen. Razor grain soup, simple blood leaf tea. I don't like bubblegum that don't much, but it doesn't weigh anything. I need sugar. You're not taking supply. my sugar away from me. Better not get rid of all that, or maybe I should. Aid. Yeah, get rid of this. Get rid of half my stim packs. If you have supplies to trade, I can be diluted stim packs. Glowing blood. 
Now we're talking. Ammunition and other supplies available here. I almost never used her out away. Crash RDK, that's me on Xbox. Okay. Um, my name on Xbox is Beamy Lamp something and some numbers. If you send me a Be Discord sure to, uh, DM that says please uh, add me on well, Xbox with can. your Xbox name, I'll add you as soon as I can. Like in the next few days when I'm on my Xbox next. I'm actually playing on PC right now, but I do have an Xbox account. I actually have a PlayStation 4 account too. So at some point, maybe I'll start dragging my supply, consoles in here trade, and I do streams from the different service. things with people. I need to buy another capture card for that, though. Alright, I bet that that fixed my problem. My problem is fixed! Now I just need another nappy poo and we can do quests. Or something. Quests or something. Oh yeah, I never showed you guys my- Oh yeah, I kind of showed you my house, but not really. Nice, Crashykins. Woohoo, Hartness! Michael James Lawrence says, Hi, Dahlia. I am tired. Thank you. How are you today, my friend? Well, now that you mention it. <laughs> I'm tired, too. But I'm good. I'm happy to be doing a bonus stream. Crashykin says, I chose a new Gen Series X instead of a PC. I think if all you're doing is gaming, that's a good choice. I really like my Xbox X, and I think that on a lot of games, especially the ones produced by Microsoft, so anything by Bethesda, which I'm a big Bethesda player, like, the graphics are really noticeably, in my opinion, better on the Xbox because I think that they actually... I remember seeing um, Phil Spencer talking about how they took extra care to try to make the graphics like as good as possible for their games on Xbox. And I can really tell a difference playing it on P playing the same games on PC and then on Xbox. I can really see the difference. Michael James Lawrence says, I was looking at a used PlayStation with two years warranty from CEX. Ooh, nice. That sounds awesome. It'd be so cool if you start gaming on a console. Crashykin says, sometimes I get lucky and my teen sons want to play with me. Ah, Yay, family time! Are they 76ers too or do you guys play another game together? Crashykin says, the graphics? Very nice. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. It's so good to see you again. How are you? Everybody, please go give a sub to sweetie. She's another Fallout 76 content creator and totally great. It's so nice to have you here. I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. And I hope you are well, too. So, did I take a nap? Did I take a nap? I forgot if I already took a nap. 58 minutes. So now I just need to eat and drink and then go play. Chicken noodle soup gives me disease resist. Crispy squirrel bits gives me two agility. Death claw steak gives me two strength. Fire cap soup gives me energy resist. Firecracker berry juice gives me 25% critical damage increase. I think I already have energy resist, so I'll skip that. See, this is why you have to check. Ooh, rad resist. I need that still. Melee damage. My bay. I already have carry weight. Mutt chops. Endurance. Did I do endurance yet? I don't think I did. Already did disease resist. Already did energy weight. Already did carry weight. Already did damage resist, I think. I don't know. It's not worth screwing it up. Strength. 
Max AP. I don't think we've done max AP yet. Spoiled fruit. Spoiled meat. Stingwing filet. Sugar bombs. Terry AP. Mm. I thought I already had an AP, so I'll skip that for now. Whiskey. Did I already take my cranberry relish? I think I skipped my cranberry relish like a freak because cranberry relish is the most important thing. All right. Now, I'm going to put my unwanted Coca-Colas in the donation box. I have been looking on the Mac section on Steam and tried some free games. Eve Online looks good, but my screen is poor, Michael James Lawrence says. Well, that's awesome. I'm happy you're getting some gaming in. All good things come with time, right? If you really want to save up for better PC equipment, I'm sure you'll be able to with time. But it's really good that you get to game some now, too. Silver says, I still want an Xbox X. Need to play Morrowind and other games I have not gotten to play. Plus, likely need one for ES6 and Oblivion Remake if that's happening. Right? That's why I bought it. Well, at the time, it was for Starfield. But I wanted to be able to play the Bethesda games. And I mean, technically on PC I can play them anyway, but my I wanted my family to be able to play them too. So, and I'm pretty much the main person that uses my PC. But everybody uses the consoles. Nuka Cherry, Nuka Cola. I don't want this. I don't. Mm. I mean, that's kind of awesome. I think I'm going to keep that, actually. Crashykin says, nice, the burning love bow, free 40 script. I mean, yeah, but I'll leave it for the next person because I always get more script per day than I can cash. Crash! Alright. Now... Do I... Oh, I think I already sold that. What about if I drink this? This takes my rads away. What if I don't have any rads? I just want to not be thirsty. Oh no, I think I drank a plus one strength thing. And I had a plus two strength thing on, so that means now I only have plus one strength. Dreads. Let's go work on... This guy's quest. Maybe I should... Nah, I'm gonna keep him there. Slower says, I watched Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Gotta say, some fun Easter eggs. But the OG cast is looking their age, and it's time to make a new bustin' team. Well, I don't know. I like I like that the original cast is in it. That makes me want to watch it. I am definitely a fan of Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd's comedy from the 70s and stuff. A long time ago... I grew up on that stuff. It was old when I watched it then, too, but my dad was a big fan of them, so, like, he always had, like, uh, that stuff on recorded and whatever, and we would watch it. So, fun fact, Bill Murray, I think, uh, he owns a business close to me. I'm not sure if he has a house here, too, but him and his brother own a restaurant in St. Augustine. And I think that he holds a lot of events at, like, this resort nearby, so. Supposedly, he's around town somewhere. Silver says, ooh, I still want a gaming PC. It's just so expensive. What is the name of that Bill Murray restaurant? I think it's, like, I don't remember. It's got a golf theme. <laughs> uh... I, to be honest, I've driven by it and I was gonna eat there, but I never did. I think that, like, when I moved here, I wanted to eat there. 
and then COVID happened, right? So just never made it in there. Silver says, it was a kick in the arse when I had to drop $1,100 to fix the car. Dude, I know. I'm so sorry. That sucks. I'm still paying off a credit card bill from the last time I had to drop $1,000 to fix the car. But yeah, I hope you were able to get a PC soon, because it'll be great to play with you. Not taking any more assistance today, friend. So sorry. He's like, I'm just not dealing with you anymore. What? Why can't I help Beckett anymore? Ah, always good to see a new face. What the heck? Or a different one, or a, you know, one that doesn't want to kill me. Welcome to Beckett's Ball. Can you guys think of a reason why Beckett's not giving me quests anymore? I guess. I didn't do all his quests. Crashykin says, is it called Caddyshack? Dude, let me look it up. What the heck is the name of that place that Bill Murray... I think, it, like, him and his brother own it. Um... Hmm. Yeah, it says it's called the Caddyshack... Murray Brothers Caddyshack Restaurant. That's right. The part when Bill cleaned the pool and ate the baby ruse. <laughs> I always liked the dancing golfer in that movie. Silver says, I went to the theater on opening day of Ghostbusters in 84 or 85 and watched it twice, so I'm a fan. Yeah, I grew up on the original Ghostbusters movies. I love those. I watched them over and over again as a kid. Why are you not working, Beckett? Do I need to, like, put Beckett away and then bring him back? Uh, looking for the boss, right? Keep looking. No one is too rich to throw away a friend. Right? And see, he's, his no store's not working either. Friend. He's just like... Right? I had another companion bug like this. Um, it was the astronaut at the end of her quest line. I did the whole quest line and I was I did the final quest. And then she bugged. And I could never finish the romance or use her as a store. And now he's bugging. Like, what the heck? I might be out of drinks again. <sighs> so I haven't talked to him today. Otherwise, I would agree with you, Crashykins. Crashykins says maybe Beckett is a once daily type type of guy. I legitimately have not spoken to him today. Well, let's try bringing back the astronaut, and I'll show you that she's messed up too. Like I'm, a, I'm gonna have to freaking make a ticket and be like, guys. Why? What is wrong with my freaking allies? Like, everyone I get glitches. Crashykin says, is this a new update bug? I mean, I don't know. 
Like I said, because my astronaut is also permanently glitched, it makes me think there's something wrong with me. It's all my fault. There's something wrong with me. All right. Let's see if we can get the astronaut lady to come live on my porch. She was going to be my hot wife and then she never sp and then she bugged out and never spoke to me again. Crashykin says, yeah, I would definitely make a ticket. I'm just so lazy. See, I finished her quest. Oh, she'll trade with me. Athena showed up. Will Athena trade? Athena won't trade. Oh, she will. Okay. I mean, I don't need anything. It's just good to know she'll trade, I guess. Where is the girl, though? Silver says, they're working on an animated Ghostbusters show. There was an older one in the late 80s or early 90s. Ooh, cool. Yeah, I've always liked the Ghostbusters story. I'm happy that they're making more about that. Crashykin says, my astronaut always says some deep sentimental stuff to me when I have visitors over. <laughs> Here she is. Come on back, lady. Know the nukes didn't destroy everything. I'm glad. I thought Athena oh, is this her finally being fixed? Parasite. But she was just as much a victim as I. And now... Yay, it's like finally working! Really I finished this quest really like a year ago. So you feel good? No more headaches? It's more of a nagging now. And when it fades, I feel normal. Blissfully normal. I still think I should have put a bullet in Emerson. <laughs> I wouldn't cry many tears if that had happened. But it sounds like he's already paid for his crimes. The apocalypse has not been kind to him. Or anyone, really. DMH Flip says, I'm headed out. Hello? Big day with one of my dogs all having right, surgery okay. tomorrow. Have a good night, all. Oh, okay, DMH Flip. I'll keep your doggy in my prayers. I hope everything goes well. Super Heartness, thanks for playing. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Michael James. Are you worried about Athena? Logically and objectively, I think I should be. The scientist in me can't discount the possibility. But no, I'm really not. I feel a connection. And not the creepy kind. And I think it may turn out to be a really good thing. What we did. Crashykin says, I put a bullet in Emerson after the convo ended when he went to leave. I can't remember if I did that or not. That sounds like something I would do. Labyrinth says, I watched the real Ghostbusters and the Ghostbusters animated show that had Talking Gorilla that was based on a 1970s live action show. What? <laughs> that sounds awesome. I have to say something, and I know it might sound corny, but hear me out. I fell to Earth, and literally anybody could have met me. Most people would have shivved me for my suit alone. So, the greatest miracle of all of this was finding you. Michael James Lawrence says, you're welcome, Dahlia. Good luck with all your games. I wonder what alternative ending you will have. Heartness, Michael James Lawrence. Stop, I'm blushing. <laughs> I told you it would be corny, but, well, I mean it. Aw, Crashykin says, then I used customized and dressed her up, giving her a wedding ring, and my character also wears one. Nice, Crashykins. Now that everything's over, 
Where does that really leave us? Let's see if she liked my, all I've my advances. I've spent so much time here. I never really stopped to think that this is your home, not mine. I'd like for you to think of this as your home, too. It feels good to hear you say that. It's been hard to have clarity since I woke up. Between the headaches and total collapse of modern civilization as I knew it, sometimes I'm not sure where certain feelings are coming from. Thanks to you, we're finally beyond that. And given how life is even more unpredictable than ever these days, I just wanted you to know how much you've come to mean to me. Crashykin says she's currently wearing the ratty skirt and loon mask. Awesome. I've come to think of you as more than a friend. This is where I go for it, people. Oh, more? I what will she say? I mean, you've never... I... I don't know quite what to say. With everything my head has been through... I hadn't even considered that you'd even think I was dating material. I come with my own set of matched luggage, if you know what I mean. Uh... <laughs> now I want to check it out and say, you're right, you need more time. I love you, Sophia. Happy to say that you've got my head spinning, but in a good way. I've been through so much, and I finally have a fresh start. I'm just happy that you're gonna be a part of that. Yay! I finally got her to love me! <laughs> and I got the achievement! Finally! <laughs> Silver says, I'm going to start watching X-Men 97. Lots of people liking it from what I've seen. That was my childhood X-Men. I grew up on that show. I loved it when I was little. I don't remember the specifics of the episodes now, but I remember I watched it every time it was on. I loved it. Crashykin says, she's our soulmate in the wasteland. Silver says, DMH Flip, I hope it goes well for your dog. Great to see you. Take care. Labyrinth says, the reel was added to the title after a dispute with Filmation and its Ghostbusters properties. That's what I was going to say. Like, I never heard of the real Ghostbusters. So was it similar but not the same then? It sounds like that came first. And you got the three-star alien blaster. Ooh, so that's a rare that I should put away or something. I don't really use alien blasters. You know, I think I would much rather have her be the companion at my nice house. Like, this is- I obviously built this to be a bar. Like, this is not where she really belongs. So I'm gonna go ahead and scrap this. Try to put the bar back. And then I'll put her at my house. My other house. Let's see if he's fixed now, too. Ah, I'm glad I caught you. I've been chatting with your friend here in the meantime. What friend? I think Athena turned into a traveling merchant. I, uh, Who the heck's I this? Sage showed up. I think it was a dream. Thanks uh, for letting me crash here for a bit. You're welcome. Are you going to be my, my boyfriend? <laughs> I'm going to love everybody. Oh, there you are, Sage. How you feeling, pal? No time to chit-chat, Beckett. Oh, I see you found a friend. You here for the party? Nah, there's no party, buddy. My friend was the one who freed you. Do you remember her? Remember? Yeah, sure. I saw it first, felt it last. Good times. 
<gasps> oh, we're gonna need more cake. It's going to be difficult getting any useful information from someone clearly under the influence of I know cake. he looks completely hopeless, but I promise you it was worth springing him out of that place. Sage, buddy, pal, friend, can you hear me? Hey, I need your help. Now we're taking down the blood eagles, all of them. Now to do that, we need to cut off the head. You get me? No, 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 not the head. Cut out the heart, the supply at the cave, the cave. Ooh, spooky. Cave, cave, cave. <laughs> hmm. Okay. The cave. Got it. And Sage, you better come back later for the other questions. Okay? And try to drink some coffee or something. God, you're killing me here. <sighs> Having a good one. With Sophia, mm -hmm. sometimes it's Athena, but you also get a random wandering trader. Yeah. I well, I just know because Athena was standing there, and then I switched it out. I switched out. I feel I think that Athena literally turned into the wandering trader because I switched allies. Don't mind me, just taking it all in. Michael James Lawrence says I used to love the cement cartoons, but my brother would always watch his show just because he was older than me. Aww. I know I've seen some of it also, but can't recall everything now. Jennifer Hale, who voices many no, game characters, including Female Shepard in Mass Effect, reprises her role as the voice of Jean Grey. Nice. Yeah, I can I can still hear the theme song in my head right now. I saw that that was making a comeback, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's my show <laughs> from when I was a kid. Thanks, sir. For letting me crash here for a bit. Crashykin says the end reward from Beckett is a very nice 50 cal as you run he if you run heavy gunner. I do. Either heavy gunner or chainsaw usually. Having a good one, I hope. Ronnie is gonna be thrilled to hear the betrayer is also dead now. Weird, I can't imagine why someone is appealing you with you would be friends with a guy like that. I, uh, yeah, uh, thanks. <laughs> Look, uh, Sage is harmless, and he's more useful than you'd expect. Just give him time. He'll grow on you. Okay, look, if we want to take out the Blood Eagles, we need to cut off the supply before we cut off the head. Now, the cave... Why are you talking about cutting Eagles off people's heads? Buff out. And without it, well... It'd be harder to convert new members. They're a bunch of buff out people, huh? Buff out's like my favorite. I doubt the buff out they're using is pure. They must have modified it in some way. Cause I do a ton of buff out, and I'm not a blood eagle. Huh. Yeah. I hadn't thought of that. You know, come to think of it, the pills they force fed me did look a little strange. I am glad I'm off that shit. That's for sure. What do you mean, cut off the head? See, the Blood Eagles are led by three vicious maniacs. The Blood, the Eye, and the Claw. And when I say maniacs, I'm, uh, I'm being polite. Crashykin says, lol, you made Beckett nervous and blush. Oh, I don't know about all that. I, so I suppose Sage isn't that crazy after all. Not crazy. Just misguided and burned out. That's what messing with all these cults will do to you. I need to think about this first. No, just give me the details. I'll go do it. You want a drink as well, right? Free one on the house. Find the buff out in the scary cave. Got it. Give me something refreshing, Beckett. You got it, friend. I need something to drink. You got it. It's nice to have company. I thought he was uh, gonna give me a freebie. Yeah. Whatever. In a gang. Oh, he gave me water. 
He's like, you alcoholic, here's six waters. <laughs> Fine, Beckett. Goodbye. Let's go do the mission. Don't mind me. Just taking it all in. Looks like I'm going this away. How far that away, though? All the way to here, Dagger's Den. Hey, I have a house right by there. That'll make it way cheaper to travel. Buff outs make buff outs look at like buff tats make buff out look like children's aspirin. Labyrinth says, I am a vampire heavy. Nice. Oh no, did my mission go away because I closed that base? Do you have to keep the base open for the freaking mission not to disappear? That's obnoxious. Dude... Alright, so now that's back. I guess I can't use my own base to fast travel. How annoying. I'll just spend all the money then. Don't forget to like the stream, everybody. It helps other people find it. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It's free. You gotta keep the alley out while doing the quest. Hi, I'm here to kill. Who wants to play? I'm here to kill. I'm here to kill. You know what I forgot to do? Double check my dailies. I started them earlier, but I need to make sure that they get done like within the next half an hour. I think I still have dailies, don't I? Yeah, I still have a lot of dailies. Alright, well we better focus on that here in a second. Because I'll probably be playing on the permadeath server after dinner. I'll probably- so I'm still gonna keep my hardcore run going. I've already had it going for so long, it doesn't seem like it would make sense to change it. But I'm also gonna be adding some permadeath server content. I don't know if you guys have heard about that yet. It's kind of a project that's taking off more on Twitch to start. But, uh, Comrade Vanya just made a video about it, too, talking about how to join the permadeath server. And it's really cool, it's like a- it's like a world where people are basically doing a leaderboard and see who can get the farthest in the game when it's all set on the hardest difficulties, and if you die once, you have to 
um, start over. So. It's really cool. I like it. I'm having fun on it. I don't have the a link to the information right now set up, but I will set up a link to that information probably before next stream. And if you're curious about it right away, then uh, join my Discord and send me a DM. Ew. <laughs> join my Discord and send me a DM and I'll give you the information right away. <sighs> but yeah, it's it's a public, it's tech, it's not like completely public, like, but it is open to everyone. It's open to everyone, you just have to like be in the Discord and agree to the rules and stuff, so. It's, it's like a, sp a special thing. Not my Discord, the actual permadeath server Discord. Where the heck did those drugs go? I was so close. I felt like I had it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's get this and go. Goodbye. I'm gonna go bring all your drugs to my bartender. I bought four games for former called platformer called Limbo and a version of an old arcade game called Breakout, both for two fifty each. Nice. Then I got a arcade wrestling and Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader for about sixteen dollars for both. That's awesome, Silver. Crashykin says you could have saved thirty caps by traveling to White Springs first, silly. Oh yeah, White Springs is free now. I'm just so used to it not being free. It's still like in my head is not free. <laughs> I don't know why cuz I mean technically I think it's been free as long as it wasn't at this point but just cuz I don't know I've never I've, I've hardly ever fast traveled there I still remember when that used to be the place to nuke and and fight mobs I thought- I saw somebody do that the other day, like, or maybe like within the last six months, I saw somebody nuke the White Springs and I was like, old times, man, old times. I don't think it does anything anymore, though. <laughs> I've played on and off since the game launched, like... But then I've played consistently this time for over a year again. You've got... Okay, without this buff out, the Blood Eagles won't be able to fill their ranks. <laughs> oh, we're really doing it! I could survive taking that stuff, I bet. I mean, sure, sure. Everyone likes a little taste of the chems once in a while, I mean... Hell, I popped Psycho for years, but, uh, <clears throat> I knew when enough was enough. You take too much buff out, though, and that'll fry your brain. Leave you really open to suggestions. Catch my drift? Anyway, it's time to move on to the big score. I want you to kill the first of the gang's three leaders. The Blood. You know, this is the one who finds the most vulnerable and brings them to the cave. I can tell this is personal for you. I'll take care of it, Beckett. Yeah, it is. I can't lie. This rips me up inside. I'm... terrified. It feels like, um... my own blood is working against me. I feel like I'm forced to be, uh... docile here. This is so embarrassing, upsetting. But thank you. I uh, need your help more than you realize. I'm helping. Once the Blood Eagles capture someone, what do they do with them? Crashy kids, 
Ken says, Fallout 76, White Springs Foundation, Brotherhood of Steel, Crater, Nuka World, and the Rusty Pick are all free to well, travel. To the cave. Thank you for the reminder, Hartness. Processing. Here. Good tip. I got this hollow tape off one of the eagles a while back. You know, it's sickening how little they value a human life, even for a raider. So are the blood eagles just some other cult? Oh, not at all. And they were just raiders who were destroyed by heavy chem addiction. But then, uh, you know, it wasn't just that. You know, some of them became incredibly violent and thoroughly enraged. I mean, before they were just a band of maniacs, and, and it was bad, yeah. But this, this is, this is new. This is, this is terrible. So what are you going to do with the buff out? Give it to me! Uh, a hole somewhere. Deep. Then bury it. Hopefully it'll sink into the soil and that's it. It's a temporary measure, but... Necessary. Oh, well. Ooh. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not going to use it. That's what you're thinking. No, no, no. I've worked way too hard to escape that crap. Never again. What's the news from Edwin's gang? Well, I gave Ronnie the key and told her the news about Bronx. Oh, she's thrilled, by the way. So, hopefully we'll hear some news. Soon. I'm gonna go ahead and try to focus on my daily quests now. So I don't lose time to do that. Epic, scrap a board game. I scrapped one already. I think I know exactly where to get another one. In theory, kind of close. Crashy Kin says, nah, he's gonna dig it up and sell it when you're out and about. Really? That's BS. I wanted to do that buff out, and he's gonna sell it out from under me? I should have just kept it and done it all. Does he really do that? The astronaut seems like the more dependable person to fall in love with. <laughs> Something about the way he said he's not gonna use it. bad guys here. Where's the bad guys? Maybe somebody's been here recently. Hi Fenrir, welcome back. How you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you for asking. Everybody please go drop us up for Fenrir, who's an awesome Elder Scrolls creator here on YouTube. Fenrir says, I got a new logo. Grats, that's awesome. Hope you love your logo. So let's see. I'm getting close. Here we go, found it. 
Joey Bellows is a good ally to have. He gives you the roast proof and kindred spirit buffs, plus he sells bubblegum chems and comics. Yeah, I like him. I have him. Yay, a sugar! Yay, a cranberries! I heard cranberries spawns here sometimes, but I've never seen it before. There's those board games. Now we can scrap the board games. Whoa, I accidentally put my junk in, um, my actual, <laughs> in my stash box, no. Crashykin says, the Mad Hatter's Tea Party from Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. I remember when this game first came out, me and my friends found this place for the first time. And we all took pictures here and put them on Twitter. Ooh, two black cowboy hats, and there's a witch hat. Anybody want a witch hat? And there's a bowler hat. Could also be a reference to Seagrath. I don't see any cheese. It's hard for me to believe it's a reference to Seagrath without cheese. Crashykin says, from Elder Scrolls. Yes, I love Elder Scrolls. Ooh, what's next? Seasons, challenges. Use photo mode while in a team. Cripple a Protectron or Robobrain's arm. And then build in a shelter. No cheese. Sad. There should be cheese. Kind of a nice photo. <laughs> Alright, now the next thing I need to do is cripple a Protectron or a Robo Brain's arm. So I'll go to. Foundation. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. And then I'll go to the robot place. Man, I'm almost out of drinks. Maybe he ate the cheese already. Yeah, maybe he ate the cheese already. That could be. Hold on just a second. Okay, sorry about that. If you're looking to trade, check out Sonny's. If you're looking to trade, check out Sonny's, yeah. If you're looking to trade, check out Sonny's, yeah. But which Sonny? 
Which Sunny are you gonna choose? I've always wondered why no cheese in Fallout, but every other Bethesda game has cheese. That's a good point! I never thought of that. Silver says that would make it a cheesy reference. LOL! Now we are at the place where the robots are. Oh, hiccups. Two Patectrons. Just what I needed. Did it say cripple the arm? Uh-oh. I took that card off. I better also double check the challenge. Yep, arm it is. Let's go. Hey, I put the card on. Why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? I put the card on. Do I have to put on a cripply... A, a crippling weapon, too? Do you want some news or 200 year old spam? 200 year old spam? Like... Like the food? Or like... Somebody spammed in the chat 200 years ago and now it's just coming through. <laughs> it took 200 years to get here. Weapons. I have a weapon that I like to use for this and it is a Gormon's crossbow because this has an extra crippling bonus that I'm also going to grab some cross bolts. And then I have a little card for this too. Expo expert archer. Here we go. I'm so like archery now. Watch me get my butt kicked. Food and drink. Nuka Twist, Purified Water, Rad Rat Steak, Razor Grain Soup. Oh yeah, do I still have my buffs on? Rested for 12 minutes and Cranberry Relish for 15, so I'm okay for right now. I got the reinstall Skyrim to play Chanterelle. What's Chanterelle? You always play all the cool mods and stuff. I haven't played, like, so much of that content, and I would like to. It's always just a matter of time for me. But since I got so into the permadeath runs, I haven't even finished the story on Skyrim. I've just played the same content like a thousand times on the permadeath runs. Intruder, identify yourself. Intruder, identify yourself. This is not even the person that I want to kill. Kill. I guess technically I could just get two arms on one robot. Yay! It worked! Now back to my chainsaw. Oh, this chainsaw's broken. I was using the instigating chainsaw. Whoa! It just freaking mad rushed me. I've never seen it do that before.
Yay! Oh! <laughs> So I may do a bonus stream tomorrow here on YouTube, but I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking if I can get the permadeath stuff set up, I might do that. We'll see, though. I might not be able to. I'll probably at least do a stream in Discord if I'm not able to do a YouTube stream. Oh my god. All the cars are exploding everywhere. Because tomorrow's Good Friday, and so everybody is like... One thing that I think is kind of cool, once I move to the south, like, everybody freaking, um, everything closes for Good Friday. Like, that doesn't happen in Colorado. But yeah, everything's closed, so it's technically, like, I have less stuff I have to do tomorrow. So maybe I'll stream. Hopefully. Crashykin says, shoots protectrons, arms, and legs, and it's still crawling after you slowly trying to taunt you. Dude! Assaultrons crawling after you is like still scary though because they've got the laser on their heads. Reminds me of Monty Python's Holy Grail with the knight saying, It's just a flesh wound, right? <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. I love that. That's a funny movie. Okay, so this is done. What else do I have to do? Complete a daily operation. Alright, I'm going in. Anybody who wants to come with me can. Daily ops. Let's freaking go. It's West Tech, people. I'm gonna run out of buff in the middle of this. I actually should pour it out real quick and sleep, probably. Gotta do my dailies. Gotta do my daily dailies. Yeah. I like that photo. That looks kind of awesome. This is a photo of me doing the skip in um, launching a nuke. That must have taken... Because, like, you, you use photo mode for part of the skip. So it must have actually snapped a photo. That's freaking epic. I was like, I don't remember taking this photo. And how did I take it of myself while I was also doing the rocket? It's because I was spamming the buttons to try to do the skip. <laughs> That's an epic photo. I love that. <laughs> Sentry bot's easy tip. That's target the fusion core for a one tap, then run because it goes cut bluey. That is a good tip. Laverne says, there is a game that's like Mo Monkey Island meets Monty Python's Holy Grail. What's it called? Do you want to go into the operation with me, Labyrinth? I'm resting up for it right now. I actually like this cowboy hat. I'm gl I think it's a nice addition to the red dress. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. Alright. I'm going in! West Tech! What did it say the mutation was? Is there a mutation? I didn't look. Lancelot's Hangover. The quest for the holy booze. Nice! That sounds entertaining. Anybody want to come with me? I might just, like, run this by myself and see how it goes. Repair the signal repeater. 
What's up with my weapons? Here we go. Alright, I'm ready. Let's go. Come in. Restoring connection to the uplinks in this area is mission critical to the Brotherhood's efforts. Head to the signal repeater. We need it repaired to communicate with the uplinks. Crap, where no is it? They're like, we're gonna make this as hard as possible to get to. Are you freaking serious? Where's the dang signal repeater, man? Oh! Are you serious? What the heck? Ah! The button did the wrong thing. Same button. You can head to the first uplink. We got connections from the signal repeater. All right, first uplink. Is this going to be one of those where you have to like play King of the Hill or whatever? Play base. Ace of base. Whoa. Boost. There we go. I'm seeing the signal calibration has started. It's weak, but it's there. Come to me, Labyrinth. I am at the place. Oh, they're invisible. That's not so bad. Luckily, this is not like a super bad. Um. Super bad, um. Whoa, they're explosive? That's kind of bad. <laughs> Whoa! Bot's weaknesses, VAT's target tips. Sentry fusion core, Assaultron combat inhibitor, same for Protectron and Mr. Handy types. I bought back panel, turrets, barrel brain bot head. Ooh, nice. Thanks for that. That's awesome. Come back in here, Labyrinth. It only works if you're close to the thingy. It goes faster if you're close to the thingy. Yeah, see, now we're back at times two. Thanks. Alright, good. Now we can run to the next one. Where's the other one? Come to me, Labyrinth. This is where the booster is. My voice is going out. <clears throat> Luckily, stream's almost done, though. Oh no! Labyrinth needs help! Labyrinth, rip! No! 
Labyrinth has passed away. But look, he's back! Yay. a pretty easy one. Thank goodness. I saw West Tech and I was like, oh gosh, are we gonna get like explosive super mutants or something? But it's not even a regular West Tech. We're just kind of crashing through unexpectedly without a full team. This is pretty easy. Annoying. They're like standing in the doorway just out of where the bonus is happening or the boost speed. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to come to me. Because I've almost got the boost speed. Okay, Alright, locate the Emony group. Let's go look for the Emony. The extra Emonies. The Emony group it says there's more of them. Are they upstairs? Crap, how do I get upstairs? And then, like, a weird tiny little frog shows up and it's like, I'm the Emony! That just happened. Okay, where's the rest of them? <laughs> They're giving me weird, strange little Emonies. Crash, he says, Oh my goodness, my last daily ops was invisible, exploding, high perception, super mutants. That was crazy. Dude! That sounds crazy. Honestly, that's about what I was expecting. I guess I got an easy one. As th but it's the same for everybody, right? They made it easy today. Dude, where's the ones I'm supposed to kill? Aw oh, man, we just missed the 8 minute mark because I can't freaking find them. That's obnoxious. Obnoxious. I'm gonna panic. And go like this. Free reroll! Okay. I was hoping for an epic. If I'm not getting my full benefit out of this, I don't deserve it to be a challenge. Follow the yellow diamond, Dahlia. Oh, you think? Thank you for that. Not nah, for real, though. It's amazing here. It's amazing. It's an invisible little toad thing. Now there's one over here, which is probably the one I was after before. Amazing little toad hey, thing. We, got a we did it. Target incoming. Readings off the charts. Fight well. And Victoria. Priority target is here. Oh, I don't even see it. What is it? 
Mole Miner Juggernaut. I've never seen one of these before. That's so cool. A new Emony. <laughs> no! Alright, we win. Yay, we win! Good job, Labyrinth Partners. We were so close to getting top score. Till next time. Dodge out. So close. We did okay, though. For being lost, we did okay. I got two gorilla chairs. That's weird. Double gorilla chair. I don't think I had gorilla chair though, so that's cool. Thanks, Crashy Kins. Contracted a mutation, but want it gone. One for you and one for your friend. So, I thought that that just shows the stuff I get. I'm pretty sure, doesn't it? Doesn't it just show the stuff you get? Hmm? Nah, I guess not. That's cool. Yay! And also, I didn't know it yet. Woohoo! A new plan! Maybe that's a new thing. Before, I think they always just used to show one. What mutation did I get? I don't Are you saying what mutation did they have? Or do you think that they gave me a mutation serum? Because I didn't see a mutation serum, so now I'm confused. Crash! Alright, so to finish this for the day, challenges, craft or scrap of Ranged weapon. Let's re-roll. Which one should we re-roll? This one? Scrap a board game. Oh my gosh, I already had that. Ugh, annoying. Now I don't know where to get any more board games. I hope these people like board games. Oh, I thought you said you contracted a mutation. I shouldn't have. I've got my starched jeans on. I actually noticed earlier today that I had accidentally taken starched jeans off and I put it back on but yeah I was like oh crap like I did not do that in intentionally that's something that I never ever mess with the overseer's house has a board game ooh thanks hey look here's one right here got lucky I'll leave that one in case someone else needs it
I hoped that they liked board games and they did! Uh-oh, that should have been two. Why did only one register? Challenges. Daily. It says I need to scrap one more or craft one more. Well, let's just craft one and scrap it. Okay, all done! I did it! I did the dailies. So let's see, dailies are done. I only have one more weekly left. And it's an easy one. Maybe I'll save it and see if I can get an epic out of it tomorrow with a reroll. Let's see what we've got on the new seasons board thing. The season thing. So I honestly don't need any of this stuff, so I'm just like saving it for now. Did I get up to be able to get new stuff? I claimed the surfboard wall decoration set right away because I liked that. I also liked the music box. It's Really awesome, by the way. I sc I claimed this right away. Score boosters times three, and I and I claimed glass float lights right away, and I also claimed tiki torches. I don't know how big these are. I'm not sure if I want them or not. Duel with the devil poster, jersey, devil player icon. Am I big enough for the cremator now? says this is open. I think I should get the cremator, obviously. And then I'm just gonna keep saving my tickets. I don't need any of this stuff right now. This is what I really want. Adelaide. So I'm rank 22 and she's rank 30. So I should be able to get Adelaide like tomorrow or the next day. Hi Lollipop, how you doing? It's great to see you. Lollipop says, hi Dahlia in chat. Congrats on the dailies today. Thank you. How are you doing friend? I hope you're well. I also like the Adelaide player icon. I like the bullseye trampoline and I like the ball buddies. This is funny. It's like a Wilson ball. I'm going to get that chessboard display I guess I have to get the chessboard display too toy robot set nice 10% score boost you know I'm gonna go for that I'll probably I mean I guess the re-rollers are free so yeah I'll, I'll go for that too hanging tire baskets oh my gosh I love that <gasps> it's amazing that's my favorite thing on the scoreboard besides Adelaide. <laughs> Daring binoculars is cool, but sadly I don't really use binoculars a lot. Jersey Devil's Shore Flare. Jersey Devil's Horseshoe Rug. Interesting, interesting. Rip daring paint on the cremator. Heck yeah, I want that. I'll probably use the water boiler just because I love decorating my home. Interesting that they have the union paint available before the ultra site. I've never seen them do that before. 
Here's what I rock, T65. Devilish player icon. Cryptid hunt wallpaper. Some free gold bullion, nice. Ooh, World of Cryptic's trunk. I want that. The World of Cryptic's trunk is cool. Crashykin says, I believe the toy robots are displayed on the chessboard. Oh, the toy robots are the pieces. That's cool. I thought, because you know how there's toy robots in the game and you can collect them? I have all them. I thought that it was just like so that people didn't have to go get them from the robot store like we've all done up until now. Freaking Brahmin Corpse, are you serious? Why would I want that? Somebody does, though. Somebody does. This is disgusting, and I actually do want it. Sometimes there's some really dark stuff in this game. But yeah, I, I'll probably claim this. I don't, I don't have a house that I want an autopsy table set up in, though. But that's just, like, too cool not to get. It's all, like, got a head in a jar. Ugh. <laughs> uh grass roof kit what i love that pine barons wallpaper devil jersey shooting gallery unless this gives me like a freaking buff i don't care about it homemade xylophone that's kind of cool jersey devil steen oh beach guinevere player icon that's awesome i will definitely use that Devil's Wings Jetpack. You know I'm going to use that. And the Cryptid Hunter paint is cool, too. I like it. I think that's the last thing on the board. Oh, it's not. Wow, there's more stuff. Oh, yeah, this. This is cool. Stairs, Pine Baron's Log Cabin. I want that. So this is, like, going to be a really cool thing. I want it. Oh, they've got it broken up across two, and it's 320... 330 for both. Good to know. So they have it set up so that some of the really good stuff is very expensive at the end. I'm happy that I looked. I actually didn't realize that. So now I will know what I'm going to be saving for. And it's probably this stuff. I believe the toy robots are displayed on the chessboard. That's epic. Okay, so I think this is probably it for me for today. Thank you everyone for being here. It means a lot. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything and it'll bookmark the page so you can come back next time. There will for sure be a stream on Monday after Monday evening and Tuesday evening. There might be a stream tomorrow, but no promises. Be in the Discord if you want information on if I end up doing a bonus stream. Also, if you're watching after the fact, the Discord can be found in the links down in the details below. Also, thank you to Silver and Labyrinth for modding. You can follow my Twitch channel as well as, as well as connect with me on whichever socials you would like to connect with me on via the links in the description. Thanks for all the likes on the stream, everyone. You rock. Let's find somebody to redirect to. And when we get there, don't forget to say hologram redirect so that they know. Because sometimes people don't realize they're getting a redirect because... YouTube only flashes it for like a second, and if people are not looking right at it, they won't know. So it looks like, I don't know if, hmm, got a couple friends on. Let's see if this works. I'm going to check and see if this person's on. Because it's hard to tell sometimes. Maybe I should just make sure that this gets reloaded.
What I hate is when I think I'm redirecting into a live stream and then it's not live anymore. That's the worst. That happens to me sometimes. All right, but we're going to try to redirect to Ram stream. He was here earlier. Looks like he's playing Seven Days to Die. He's a big Fallout 76er too, though. So let's go support a fellow Fallout 76er. And hopefully he's still live when we get there, but I think he will be. Don't forget to say hologram redirect when we get there. And I will talk to you all soon. Thank you for being here. You rock. Let me know what you think or if you want to say anything in the comments. Okay, bye!